Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a uh, quick fix for a furnace. Uh, this time uh, I got an error code where I had three quick flashing lights. This right here is the uh, power off switch for my furnace and I'm just going to explain everything. Hopefully this helps you guys. Click like and subscribe if it does. So currently this is the furnace now and uh, you'll see this that green light constant flashing just normal never actually shuts off just goes bright and dim well I'm gonna show you a few things here so I could power this off but I don't need to because once I take this panel off there's a safety switch that shuts it off and it won't kick in so this switch right here so I have my model is uh, keep right that's the name of my uh, furnace here, but really doesn't matter because the uh, flashing error code is pretty generic for any furnace. One thing I'm going to point out real quick here is you can see a lot of condensation here. This whole setup had installed last winter because what happened was water was coming down this pipe, dripping in, and we'll uh, take this one off as well so you can see both chambers. And just somehow, I don't know, somehow in here water is dripping in and I believe it fried the main circuit board. So by installing this, this didn't exist last year, you know, condensation comes into this and dribbles down here. Now that's separate. That system is separate from the normal condensation tube that comes out of here. Anyways, what happened was um, I installed the Nest thermostat the uh, smart third gen thermostat. And it originally was hooked up to this two wire system, only two wires. Now, that's a problem because um, what you need for your nest is you need a third wire which hooks up to your C pin. And I think in here, that's this one here. So obviously with two wires, you don't have a C pin. What happens is your nest thermostat has an internal battery and nothing can charge it and unless you have that C wire eventually the battery is going to die um, and usually it'll happen in the winter any time where it needs to send signal to the furnace to uh, you know turn on and all that kind of thing so during the summer if you don't have like a air conditioner maybe you won't have a problem but in the winter when it starts working hard eventually it'll go dead and the symptoms of that battery issue will be you lose Wi-Fi connection or if you go into the uh, settings on your thermostat, your Nest thermostat, and go to, uh, I think it's called application or app or something like that, it'll say low battery. Anyways, what I ended up doing was, I didn't want to run other wires. I bought this little unit from Google. They sell this. If you don't have that C wire, um, it's really easy to set up. You basically plug a bunch of wires in here, and then you hook your two wires onto this end. And I'm not exactly sure what it does, but I have a feeling like somehow it feeds power back up through one of these wires and, and keeps that battery powered, just a guess. And this communicates with the Nest thermostat. It's a Google product. It's got the little G there. I tried this and uh, the battery wasn't going dead, but I was getting another problem. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. And my that light that we first saw, this LED right here, was flashing three times really quick. And the problem was nothing to do with the Nest thermostat or anything like that. I ended up uh, running a five wire down here for the Nest, uh, thinking there was problems or whatever. And what, what, what ended up happening was I tried my old thermostat, the Honeywell, and even then I was getting this three LED flashing. Problem is this, it's a weather thing. So I get all this condensation and you'll see in here, I can get in here. Right there, there's a lot of condensation in this unit here. Now, there's a, that three flashes. When you look it up on the back of your, uh, right here, it talks about the air codes. If I open that booklet, it would explain that three flashes. It's talking about the pressure switch. So I watched some YouTube videos and I found that I, I think this is the pressure switch here, and this tube basically um, 
this tube here has to um, be clear. You can't have debris in there and including these two nipples. So what I'm going to do is take this off, right? So in here, there was water. So that condensation was getting water in there and is blocking this tube from being able to add some suction for this pressure switch to open and close. And so what I ended up doing was, just got my computer uh, dust off air blower and I just kind of put it in I took this tube off both ends, blew the tube out, and I also went in the nipple here and the nipple there and just gently blew in there to get the water. And once I did that, everything was fixed. Whether I use my Nest thermostat or my Honeywell thermostat, which I have two different wires, I shut one off to test the other back and forth. And uh, both of them work perfectly fine. So it was this tube here, which is what caused the problem. So hopefully that helps you out, guys. Um, that's what you need to do. I originally thought this was maybe my pressure switch hose, but looking at this carefully, you're like, ah, it's here. And then it was hooked into that area in there, which again, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Maybe I'll get my flashlight to show that. But you can see in there, it's quite a bit of condensation. And so that was plugging up my tube here, going into the pressure switch. And again, once I cleaned that, everything was golden. Anyways, hope that helps you out. Have a great day. Bye.